Hey guys, my name is Robert here, and I saw the new Jordan Peele film, Us. Now, I was really excited for this film. I loved Get Out. I thought it was a great horror film. Uh, I am a secret. One of my guilty pleasures is horror. I think horror. Uh, some horror films are really well done. However, and Get Out, I thought, was amazing. So I had no very high expectations for Us. However, those expectations were definitely not met. Um, I don't think this is a terrible film. Uh, I just don't think it's particularly that great, and it's nowhere near the level that Get Out was. I still think it's... Um, it's decent, but it's. It, I just don't think it's Oscar worthy. I don't think it's particularly that great. Um, it's just good. But we'll go over some good things, and then we'll go over the bad and why I don't like it as much as uh, as much as I wanted to. Because don't get me wrong, I really wanted to love this film, but after like two, three hours after coming out of the cinema, I just couldn't. I wanted to give it like a seven, and I I, I just couldn't because it. I would be lying to myself. So let's go through the good. So first of all, there's some really good ho horror moments in this in this film. Um, some really well done stuff, um, which I thought was a, a really good thing. So the, there was some really creepy undertones. There were some really creepy scenes. Uh, the, the dialogue of the the shadow characters, if you will, the or the villains, if you will, uh, their dialogue and the way they perform it, like the way that the actors perform those those sets of characters, the shadow characters, is really, really well done. And you really get a sense of creepiness with them. And I think that's something that I really think this film did really well. Uh, with just the cre the sheer creepiness of the characters, I think it was, uh, of the villains, was just really well done. And, um... Yeah, I think the music was, it was off in little bits, I think, but for the most part, it was well done. I really liked the five on it being used, and I think, because I quite like that song, and I think they used that quite well with the different, like, the pitches of it that they used, and they used some other music in there as well. But I think the music was actually really well used. Uh, I quite liked the, how um, they used that. I think the uh, the acting was really good, including the kids. I, I I really enjoyed them, and I'm not I haven't learned all the characters' names. I'll be honest, but I'm just gonna call them mum, dad, uh, son, daughter. We'll just go with that. But um, yeah, they they were pretty good overall. I think maybe my one strife is the the twins, the white kids, the two twins, the the white twins, the girls. Those actors were a bit meh, but I mean, they weren't really big characters, and it's probably how they were written as well. Um, I don't know if that's really the actors or how it was, how they were written, but for the most part, the the acting was really well done. And I do like how it mostly um, includes just this family. Like, we don't see much of the other world. I, I, I mean, I like that at first, but then I have an issue with that later on, but that won't be until the spoilers, uh, the spoiler territory. And then we'll go for the bad. Uh, we'll go to bad now. Um, so the flashbacks, I think, were jarring. So they essentially have a bunch of flashbacks throughout um, of the mum's character and her her sort of earlier life and, and when she first met the shadow creature. The issue I have with this is they were just... They kind of pulled you out the film a little bit. And I know that they tried to have, like, a scene that motivates a flashback, and I, I understand that, but I just didn't think it particularly worked. I would have just preferred if they had that all at the start of the film and then just get that stuff over with and then just go straight into the go straight into the, the, the normal stuff. Uh, I didn't like how they kept cutting back to stuff. I just wish they kept it all in the first, like, ten minutes of the film, the, all the stuff that was in the past. And then near to the end, when they cut back to it, then they can cut back to it. Um... I think the shadow people, or slash the villains, uh, as, you, as you will, I just call them the shadow people for now because I don't want to reveal too much, uh, but I think they needed way more explanation. I, I, I wasn't really satisfied um, that I knew what they were or how they worked or why they were able to cross into the real world. I don't actually understand that. Maybe I have to watch it again. I'm not sure. It's just my first viewing. I didn't really get how they were able to cross into the real world. I didn't really get how they were able to how they really work like like i understood how their world worked but i i just didn't get it, it just didn't i don't like so they just live on uh they we'll get into that in the spoilers but um yeah i just didn't really i think the villains just needed way more explanation uh and finally the final thing we'll get into is the twist i'll be honest the twist in get out i quite liked the twist in this is terrible i think it's awful because it doesn't make any sense and we'll get into that uh, in the spoilers, so we're gonna go into spoiler territory right now. So here is the timestamp if you don't want to hear spoilers. 
But anyway, three, two, one. So first of all, the twist. I hate the twist for the main reason. So basically, what happens in the twist is just as a recap. It turns out the whole time that um, the the mother character was actually the shadow creature the whole time. And when they were kids, they swapped over uh, her as a kid. She strangled the real the real daughter, put her in into um, you know the shadow world, and then so the shadow creature that comes through in the film is actually the real her who was sort of put in there as a kid um so she's actually the shadow creature in the film and she's being attacked by a real person uh who's essentially but my issue with this is first of all the marketing the marketing for this is terrible because they revealed this in the trailer i saw that i saw the scene with her the little kid grabbing the neck so i knew that scene was coming because i've seen the trailer and then it didn't come and then i was i just knew for a fact that that was going to happen uh, I, I just think it was very predictable, um, partially because of the marketing, and I think it was the marketing is to blame. But yeah, I just that scene was made predictable because of the the trailer, and I think yeah, it just it just annoyed me. That for a starter, um, yeah, I don't understand why her and the shadow the shadow creature and her don't talk about it because they interact. So the real so I will just call her the sh we'll call the real her the shadow creature for now because it just so it didn't get confusing. But when they talk, they don't talk about it. There, there isn't, there isn't even any hints. Or at least I didn't see any hints because I, yeah, there was, there was nothing there, and I just don't think um, it was really well. Like there wasn't any clues that were really laid out very well. I don't know. I just didn't like that uh, about it either. I just think overall the twist to me um, was very predictable. It didn't make too much sense. I don't think it was the worst twist they could have gone for. I, 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 I did call it terrible. I don't think it's terrible. It just has flaws in it. It really does have flaws in it. And, like, you think... I don't understand why she just doesn't... Rem she only remembers that now. Like, she reflects to it back then. It's like she didn't know what the creatures were before. I, there's just so many flaws with it. Like, that's why I don't get. She, she grew up there. And, yeah, she was young. And you could argue that maybe she was quite young, so she really didn't understand what was going on. And maybe you could have made that argument, but I feel like she would have, because it would have been... She didn't talk for ages, right? So, yeah, I just... I, I don't know. I just wasn't happy with the twist overall. I think the scene where the dad uh, the dad character kills the uh, white guy, the white guy, but he's the shadow creature of the white guy, that... And they had, like, the wife's reaction. I just thought that, that scene was just really odd. And I just wish they showed him kill the, kill the dude. Um... Yeah, the other thing I uh, I get on, and this comes to the shadow people, is they need more explanation. Is I liked how originally this film was just focusing on a family instead of focusing on you know like a, a worldwide event or focusing on one person. It focuses on a family, which I thought was really well done. But then they have about like quarter way, maybe halfway into the film, they reveal that actually the whole world is affected by this, and um, we don't. But then we don't actually get much of a glimpse of this. We literally just get the, the we get the white family and we get them, and that's it. And I just I just thought this was really annoying because it, it didn't. They didn't need to do that. They could have just had it be the family. I, they could have rewritten the like because then that would have made sense, right? She's going. She's she's going in there to get her family back. Maybe I don't know. That's the reason that she's. That's the villain's motivation. Um, but yeah, the whole world was affected, but it didn't even seem like it. We didn't get much of a glimpse to it. And the final shot of like the, the when they panned over, I don't know. It just felt like I wanted to see more. Um, and it feels like in all in a, in a way, it feels like they're setting up for a sequel. I know they're not. I know Jordan Peele probably isn't, but it, it felt like that. And it was it was like sequel bait. And and I just I just didn't like how they didn't affect the world as a whole like they, they just folk like if that's fine like you can have the world as a whole be affected but then i want you to ref i want you to actually show that but then they didn't they just showed the family and i, I don't know i just didn't like that i wanted to learn more i would be i would have been fine if just the family were affected by these shadow that's why i found it really weird when the white family were killed by the um people Anyway, we're out of spoilers so hello guys we're out of spoilers now so yeah my overall thoughts of this film is i just think the twist has a lot of flaws in it. It wasn't, I don't think, particularly laid out very well. Um, I think there's particular scenes. There's just there's just so many plot holes and things that annoy me about this film. Um, for me not to give it a higher score. I think the cinematography overall was okay. I think the music was pretty good. The acting was great. Um, and yeah, the film has a lot of good things for it. But the, the thing that's lacking is really the story. And I don't think the story was particularly well, well uh, crafted. It's hard for me to give this a rating because I love everything else about it. Just the story is the only thing that's really bad about it. So uh, I'm going to give this one a...
6 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. I'm going to be generous. That is a very generous score because I was I wrote down on my on my computer screen 5 out of 10, but after talking about it, I decided to change that. But yeah, it's a 6 out of 10, but it's a very loose 6 out of 10. It's closer to a 5 than a 7 by far. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.